Hey everyone, just thought I would do a quick little video. I'm uh, just tinkering off around with my FPGA board. Something I haven't done in a while, because uh, I actually had a, a bad ROM chip on it. So I actually had to get it replaced, because that's why I've never really used it, is the ROM chip never worked. So I'm kind of tinkering around with some, just some development stuff, working on some Verilog code and all that. So I kind of made these little pass-through boards, which have nothing on them. They're just, just a pass-through. And everything is done by the FPGA. So I've got this basically is just a ROM emulator at this point. So uh, if I turn it on, the default setting is just Link to the Past. <clears throat> and I can change that. So I just stalled the game. I'm gonna reset it here to Lost Vikings, one of my favorites from back in the day. And then over here I've got my high ROM, low ROM selection. So if I want to change that into high ROM, again, game will stall. I'm gonna select a different game. So just kind of working on that, and I've got other ones planned just for tinkering around. So I've got this one here I built for 64. It's going to be the same thing, just kind of trying to fill around and, and work on this so that I can eventually get this into kind of an all-in-one development board, which is the plan, and that was the whole reason I bought it. Uh, but now that it finally works, I can actually start doing some of that. So thanks for watching. That's pretty much it. Thanks.